Uh, I've just gone for a simple latte this morning. Look, I think it's full credit to Arnie. Um, you know, he's been fantastic over the over the three years that he's been here. Uh, what he's achieved with the club, the turnover of players, and the consistency that he's continued to to pull out week in week out. It's it's a credit to how hard he works, and uh, you know, a move like this is what he's always talked about. So all the boys are stoked for him. Uh, we're all proud that that he gets to achieve one of his dreams. You know, after seeing a lot of his players go overseas, it's it's now his chance to go overseas and impress. So, you know, we're wrapped with that. And and Mossy, not, not much changes with Mossy. He comes in and, you know, we all respect him as a coach. And uh, that's the most important thing. We'll, we'll continue to, to give 100% for Mossy and and try, and try and get our season back on track. Yeah, no, Mossy, he's, he's, he's come in. It's, it's like he said, it's a fairly seamless transition. Um, he's already said he, he won't change too much and, and whatever changes there will be, they'll be quite subtle. So, look, he, like I said, uh, he's just got to uh, demand the respect straight away and I'm sure being the team we are, we'll, we'll give him that. And, um, you know, we, we, wanna, we want him to succeed just as much as Arnie did. So we'll be working, working very hard to, to try and get, get him the results that he wants. Yeah, definitely, you know, and that's the, that's the best thing about the A-League. Anyone can beat anyone on, uh, on their day. So you've always got to perform, you've always got to be at your best and, uh, you know, two wins and you're right back up there. But it's important for us to just concentrate now on just uh, a good performance, I think, more than anything. Uh, just get that confidence back, back in the team and, uh, you know, results will, results will follow with the confidence and, and when we start playing well again. Yeah, look, it's just it's just a game. I think um, it, it's fantastic for the league that these players come over and and want to play in Australia. It's it's great. It helps bring the fans to to the stadium. And for me personally, I get a buzz about uh, playing these sort of guys. You know, um, you sit here in Australia growing up and you watch these guys play uh, in the big leagues over in in Europe, and you never think that one day you might play against them. So it's just. It's a, it's a good reward for the hard work that you put in, I think, getting to play some of these guys. Yeah, it's a bit of a trial this weekend, I think, uh, see how it goes. We've found in the past few years that with the, with the time difference, there's a lot of uh, sitting around hotels and that sort of thing. It can sort of drain the boys a bit. So we're uh, travelling to Sydney, I think, after training Friday, staying there and then flying Saturday morning the day of the game. So. You know, it will be interesting and like I said, it's a trial, we'll see how it goes and uh, I think, I know the boys with the kids, they'll be a lot better off I think, there's a lot less sitting around and um, you just, you know, you concentrate on the game anyway, so as long as we stay hydrated during the flight, the morning of the flight and things like that, I'm sure Clarky will get us up moving about and, and everything, so you know, it's just, uh, hopefully it won't take too much from the performance. <laughs> Uh, no, rarely. I, um, the boys just always want to kick, and that's that's good. I think uh, sometimes I'd like to switch off, but you know, playing with the boys in the backyard, it's it's kind of switching off anyway. It's it's a nice little uh, you know incentive for me to to see these how much how much they love football. It um, you know it really hits home what a professional footballer means to, to kids growing up, you know, how, how good of a role model we can be. I see how Jai is with someone like Marcos Flores or someone who gets shy around him and, you know, it's, it's great to see. I think it's, it's fantastic. Um, oh, Jai is definitely, uh, even at five years old, he's shown a lot of talent already, but you know, one thing I drill into him, it's not all about talent. Um, you know, he's got to have the mentality, he's got to keep working hard as well. So, I mean, he definitely shows natural talent and, uh, you know, if he continues on, uh, works hard and gets the, gets the right coaching and, and heads in the right direction, then I'm, I'm sure he, he might be able to make a go of it. Yeah, I have actually, lately, um, more, than, more than most. Uh, obviously having kids and seeing them develop, I think junior development for me is a big, uh, you know, it's, a, it's, it's something that means a lot to me. Uh, it's something I'd love to get into. Uh, I'll, I'll start doing the, the coaching badges and looking at that side of thing. this sort of in the near future to be honest. And um, 
look, it's something that I'd love to get into. And something I did before I went to Romania was I worked with Education Queensland in helping um, sort of troubled kids through the schools and that sort of thing. I'd go out to the school and, and help them do their, their school work and then if they did that well I'd, I'd go out in the park with them and play a bit of sport and that sort of thing. So I've just recently started looking into Education New South Wales and trying to work out how I can sort of get into that sort of role because I really enjoyed that. It's too